I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. Great to have you back, folks. Absolutely. And what a what a wonderful day it is too, because look, we have these beautiful new Fender basses to show Fender, you. Fender, that's it. They've done it again. But yep, the American Professional Two. The two. Just when you thought they couldn't get any better. No, they're any more professional. <laughs> they've got double <laughs> they have. the amount of. They've got professional, extra professional. I, I feel you know, more professional already. Thing. Just holding it. Uh, yeah. Yes, you're right. Yeah, so um, you think, how do you improve on uh, you know, perfection? Mm. How is it possible? Well, they've done it. They have. And they've done it in the following manners. And they have, yes. So we have uh, some uh, new upgrades to what you would normally find in your standard American P and jazz bass, um, which is the Alder body, um, maple necks, and rosewood fingerboards, and some maple fingerboards as well. Um, They've added some new options. You've got a pine option in the range. What? So, pine, you say? Pine. Pine as well as alder. So they've got a yeah, slightly different option this uh, this time round as and, a body and, wood. And why have they gone over to pine then after all this um, time? Well, a little fairy told me just now mm. um, that... Uh, yeah, Danish this, elf. A little Danish elf popped along. Mannequin and, uh, piss. Yeah. <laughs> Gave me some really good info. No, yeah, absolutely. So there's a there's a, an insect that loves ash, which you, you know there is, is another wood that Fender um, uh, used historically for years. Yeah. So um, apparently there's a shortage because of this little bugger. It's the, the it. ash dieback uh, disease apparently, yeah. and so, so there's going to be a bit of a shortage. So, so uh, yeah, bye bye ash for a little bit. But so you've still got the same sort of properties, um, similar sort of looking wood grain to it. Um, light wood as well, you know, light, lightweight to, um, to, to, for the construction. So Having said um, that, we don't have any of those here. So these... We don't. That's the only thing we don't have today. All the five strings. Or, and there's some fretless as well. But we haven't got any. They'll, they'll, be, they'll be coming. Like they'll be coming. <laughs> and left-handed. Left-handed, five strings. No one's sorts. left out. No all one's left out. That's it. And uh, you can't see any of them here today. No. Uh, but what we can talk to you about is what they have done new. So we have... The upgraded V mod pickups. Okay. So these have been slightly tweaked for each model and each pickup, uh, pick, pick up, pick up <laughs> position. Um, so uh, a different balance. I think it's different magnets between the different um, sort of poles and different strings to yeah. give it a different balance. Voiced sound. for each specific Voicing, position. Exactly. Um, I mean, we have things. a little contour on the neck hill. Like you get on the ultras. Oh, and, nice! Uh, Look at that. So yes. up, so extra it. comfort. So when you go up the dusty end, absolutely. You go ah, ooh. you're not going to like, yeah, like oh, run yeah, into ooh. a you know brick wall as it were. So no. yeah, it's got a nice, nice little slope and contour. Like it, like it, like uh, it. This is a very, it's a beautiful finish on the neck, right? That was the, I think the biggest thing. I think it was just just doing this little intro and picking up quickly. The neck finish is brilliant. Like it feels uh, completely different, really, to the to the American pros. The, yeah. the what do they ones. call this? A supernatural. A supernatural feel. Yeah. So a, a new kind of finish they're using on the back of necks um, mm -hmm. across the range. And Staying up that end. Yes. <gasps> oh yes. Tapered shaft tuners. Yes. Which uh, I was uh, unsure about, but apparently it's is this. We this were looking bit for here. the right shaft, right? Yeah, we're yeah. Like, uh, and it's this which bit, one? It is. Which yeah. Is tapered. Yeah. So it forces the string downwards, so it, it keeps a, you know it keeps your windings tighter. 
You mm. always want tighter windings. You do. Um, I've always wanted that. I you? always. I'm still looking for them. Well, there you go. Um, Buy one of these bases. Yeah, true, true. Uh, we have Posiflex graphite there uh, is. reinforcement. Yes, yes. So Get there's a necks. couple of graphite rods, sort of in between the fingerboard and the and the back of the neck, um, to make it more stable. So it doesn't uh, fluctuate so much with temperature variations. You've still got your normal truss rod, obviously, so you can adjust it. Yep. This is some additional reinforcement yeah. carbon graphite rods. It's meant to be as well for when us professionals are moving around the world again, um, it's to give it more stability. Yes, um, of so, course. So we can all look forward to that again. Yeah. Uh, the bridge um, is a bit of a, uh, uh, you know, an oldie, Concoction. new, old. Yes, it is, isn't yeah. it? Because they call it a vintage high mass bridge. Obviously, they didn't make high mass bridges. In the old days, did they? No. But no, no, that's it. No, yeah, it's just, as you're saying, like it's a very, very thin, bent over bit of bit of steel, wasn't it? It was just yes. right. That'll do the job. That's right. And they've got a. I think they've gone for a similar idea, sort of look wise, but of course it is that high mass construction where it's cast. I think I was looking at it. I think you're exactly right there, man. I think the vintage part might be the saddles, just because you've got more of the. That there, you've got like four different spacings to choose from there. I think some oh, of them like modern high mass. Hang will, on. But most oh, yeah, look at that. Kind of modern high mass bridges will have like maybe just the one mm. groove or just it'll be flat. So um, I think that's more of a vintage thing where you can stagger it where you want. So. And also with these bridges, you get the option to uh, string. Uh, uh, ah, yeah. Right uh, through. Yeah, string through the bridge or you can string through the body. Yeah. So there you go. You've got both, uh, both options there depending Absolutely. on your preference. Yeah. Uh, um, I think on the jazzes, that's probably about it. We've got bone nuts. I think that was probably probably similar on the um, on the pro the, the pro one, as it were. A bone nut. Yes. Bone nuts. Yes. Um, it's a bit of a curious, you know, with the sort of uh, the rise in sort of vegetarianism. Yes, true. Veganism. That's a bit of a strange thing to put on, isn't it? But yeah. never mind. That's up to them. And so, and is there an additional variation? Well, we're going to get to the P bases. So we'll get to the P. I, I mean, think. Do you know the most important thing, right? I can say about this base is yeah. it, it's really nice. Yeah, that's do you know it. what I mean? It's just nice and simply, it's just really it's nice. A, it's a really nice base. For I mean, something just to pick up, and we just plug them in straight from them out of the box. I mean, and it's yeah, they, they are they, very, they very play comfy. absolutely. They feel amazing. They play beautifully. They sound mm. amazing. Too. Massive, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, you know, uh, you know, I'm going through this tiny little amp here, uh, but it's still, it's just, it's singing Checking out. It all out. the harmonics are yeah. really singing out. Yeah, yeah. Do you um, want to have a, a go through some tones? By all means. Do it. By do all it. means. Go yeah. for it. Yes, because you can do the P bass, because you, you're a P bass dude. Yeah. And I'll do this. Well, you're a jazz bass dude as well, of course. Oh, I shall have a quick look at this. Ma. Okay, so we've got a couple of pickups. Obviously, back pickup, tone off. <laughs> Turn up all the way. Uh, that's cool, that's very nice, that's very nice. And uh, front pickup, tone yes. off. A bit of tone on there. Oh, that's not tone, it's a rather pickup. Tone! Tone up. Front yes. pickup, that's quite a funky sound. Definitely, it? yeah, it's not that's, too that, muddy. That's very Larry Graham, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's nice. Both pickups, tone off. What's the point of that? Tone up! <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know, have we got any picks? Let me see if I've got a pick. I've got, I've got one. Oh, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. <laughs> oh, a bit of pick. Just, they're so nice to play. Yeah. They are so nice to play. Yeah. No, I, it's a super, I mean, this um, supernatural feeling neck, so that, that was the, the first, obviously you're going to be, it's the, one of your hands is going to be on all the time, but it's just like straight away out of the box, you will feel the difference. Mm. Um, it is a nice mixture between uh, like a, a little bit of resistance you get from a lacquered neck, isn't it? It's not like fully um, super, super fast, as it, as it were. That's probably how I would describe the old Pro Ones. This one's a little bit more resistance but feels more worn in to me, like a more used used neck. Well, resistance is useless. Yeah, <laughs> it's futile. Okay, so that's what the what jazz sounds like. Why don't you show uh, the boys and girls we have a home what the... But yeah, have a pee, Let's have a pee. Let's have a pee. Mm -hmm. back. Okay. So, look, at that's a, a, that's a beautiful colour. Dark Knight. Dark Ooh. Knight, some sort of burst, but look at that, how it's like bursting from the inside out. Do that, out. do that. Do this. Do that. Or, or this. Look, the Dark Knight rising. <gasps> hey! hey. Oh, uh, man, that yeah, is, that is man. pretty special, isn't it? That, so, and so, really, that's going to have all the same sort of upgrades uh, and tweaks that this has had. Yep. With the addition of, I think, a it's, new neck profile? That's it. So it's based on the 63 p base neck. So that was coming out of the 50s. They were still... Uh, Chunky, big baseball bats. Right. Um, the 63 was when they started to slim it down. So it's it's, uh, it's kind of a mixture between like a full P bass and when you're getting a jazz. So it's it's a nice, personally for me, it's a really nice neck. Right. Um, and yeah, apart from that, yep, so we've got upgrade pickups and this would be, um, again, matched to this new model, voice for this, this series. So um, yeah, let's see what it sounds like. I'm gonna go tone off and volume on. You haven't got a lot of choice. I haven't, but... Uh, <laughs> Let's make it... Somewhere let's, to start, though. Yeah, it? yeah, let's just let's give a few different the sweeps of the tone knob, shall we? Right, tone off. Up a little bit. Tone up a little. Still not full. Fix yeah. and and the same as we always normally sort of point out, it's like very simple controls. But yeah, you can do a lot with the tone control. So um, you know, and it's a P bass, right? It's and it's just, a P bass. It's a classic. You want it for that it's sound? A classic sound, you know. Absolutely. It's amazing. But it feels gorgeous. Yeah. And again, this neck finish is just yeah, yeah, superb. It's not nitro, by the way. I should should mention. If you want to get a nitro finish, this is kind of like the in between before you get to the uh, American original series, which is has got the nitro lacquer. Okay. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, oh, we're talking about that. We should tell you about price. Lovely. I'm just so, yeah. getting. Oh, oh. I'm, <laughs> just, 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 oh, go on. How much are they? 1699. Okay. To, to 1749. So between there, um, on the different versions of the Pine, left handed fretless, five string five as string well. Yeah. Right, so the five string is only another 50 quid, right? Yeah. yeah. So 
That's not a whole. No, it's good. Yeah, you need load more money, is it? You think for a little bit? Yeah, you get an extra wood in the neck, an extra string. Yeah, fifty quid. It's not bad. Is and it? left hand is another fifty quid, is it? No, actually, um, um, just check on the website, but they're mostly sixteen nine nine as well. Are they same price? Yeah, well, that's good because you shouldn't be taxed for being left-handed. No, even though you're weird. Nor <laughs> being vegetarian. But... <laughs> or vegan. <laughs> not, a not, be no. <laughs> not a can of worms. Not a can of worms. A can of worms isn't vegetarian either. No. Uh, so, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, do you know what? I, I think they've, they really have um, superseded. What's the word? Superseded? No. No. That's not the right word, is it? No. They've, um, whatever that word is, they've done it. They've, they've done made it. it better. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, they really have. These are, these are really nice places. That's um, it. Oh, you get, can take my word for it and just order one. Oh, yes. Nice case. Go you on. You do get a go, lovely case. You go, nice case. You get nice a deluxe case, you know, you molded know. case. We do treat you here, you know. Included. And that looks very robust. Uh, so there you go. The new Fender uh, Pro and twos. twos. Yeah, beautiful things. Absolutely. And as more stock comes in, obviously, this is early days. As more stuff comes in, we're going to look at the fives and we'll look at the uh, fretless. Fretless, yeah, too right. We'll have a look at the left hands. Won't be able to play them, but we'll have a look at them. We'll give it a go. And uh, yeah, and finishes, finish wise, of course, we haven't talked about. Um, I think these come in about nine different finishes, the jazzies. Yeah. Go and have a look on the website, um, you know, to see uh, what's available. And the, the, this has got some. Uh, oh, yeah, these new bursts are just something special, aren't they? So. Yeah. So uh, you're going to check out the website, see what the finishes are. Uh, but yeah. Hope this has been informative. Thanks um, for joining us. Yeah, very nice to see you again, folks. Thank you very much. Uh, I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. This has been All About the Bass. And uh, we'll see you next time. We're going to play out on, with some P-Bass stuff. Play, play on the P.